The USTA, Alta, and a number of flex leagues provide great competition for the everyday tennis enthusiast, and now a new organization is helping to grow the game within a unique segment of the population. Special Pop Tennis is a uh, organization of adaptive tennis for children and adults with intellectual disabilities. Our focus and, and mission is to enrich the life of those individuals through the, the sport of tennis. And because the sport is a lifetime sport, we feel like that that gives us a, a chance to build the relationships uh, beyond just the tennis court itself. From its humble beginnings in 2005, Special Pops Tennis has grown to become the largest tennis training program of its kind. We serve over 600 athletes uh, around the metropolitan Atlanta area at 15 different sites right now. Those sites are staffed with uh, volunteers that give of themselves. We're able to uh, uh, use the generosity of those individuals to come out and help these people get involved in, in what we feel is a lifetime sport that uh, brings great meaning beyond just the game itself. Special Pops Tennis is a nonprofit organization that does not charge any fees to participants, so they must rely on a strong group of dedicated volunteers. Well, this is actually for me. I get more out of this than I'm sure the kids do because it's, uh, it's very rewarding, no question about it. I enjoy just uh, having fun with the kids. You see a kid that comes in and really wanting to talk to you, and then by the end of the session, you know, he's hitting balls back and uh, counting and getting excited, you know, about hitting a shot over and, and able to sometimes volley with other kids. It's, it's, it's a tremendous uh, excitement for all of us, you know. While the play on the court provides benefits to the athletes, it's the impact away from the game that truly matters. They're learning new skills, they're able to uh, achieve uh, things through the sport by that relationship that they're able to build with the volunteers that we bring to the sport. Uh, they begin to feel like they're, they're a lot more a, a part of the community that they live in. And so their self-esteem just really uh, climbs. Uh, they seem to do better in the other uh, facets of their life, uh, not only because of the physical activity, but just uh, merely by the fact that they, they feel like they are a part of the mainstream community. It's really relaxing for the, for the parents to come out here. This is a perfect thing for us and uh, it, it's just worked out great. I, I'm kind of hesitating to say, just jump out of my chair screaming, but it's great. <laughs> it really is great. <laughs> Whatever the age or skill level may be, Special Pops Tennis is there to assist all those with an intellectual disability and introduce them to the world's greatest game. Our athletes will, will range anywhere from the age of uh, five years of age all the way up into their 60s. It's not about the skill level or the age of, of that athlete. So we, we are able to bring the athletes here and train them at whatever level they are. If they have never used a tennis racket before, that's, that's okay. We'll introduce them to the sport at that level. If they come to us and they've played with their parents and they're very athletic and, and highly competitive, that's okay too. We'll, we'll meet them at that level and help train them to be, be better tennis players. But at the end of the day, our volunteers and their athletes, what we've hoped for is that they're better people because of the experience that they've gotten while they're at a, a special pops tennis event.